Hello everyone, I'm Cristian Nicolescu and today I will show you how to do some custom, uh, custom operation on the opportunities. So let's go on Salesforce, let's understand what uh, I mean with this custom operation and then we'll see what we can do with the activity. So I have here an opportunity, opportunity of Vasile, yeah? it's, on, it's on Vasile Corporation and I have here in our case multiple things to add products and so on and so on. Let's today add a partner, involve a partner on, on this opportunity. Yeah? So for, uh, for Vasile Corporation, we need a partner. So let's create this one. And we'll have here some status. This is the thing that uh, we'll have. It's a system integration. Here we'll have a partner name will be UiPath Costin. Costin. And then let's hit save. Yeah? So in this way, we, we involve a partner on the um, on the opportunity yeah? now if we take a look here you will see that this is a custom table yeah so the custom table is called um, partner involvement c in our case let's see how we can add uipath uh, costin in in in, the, in this opportunity with vasile using the component and let's see what are the steps that we need to follow so what we'll do, we'll go on the UAPAT Studio. I have the Salesforce, active, uh, Salesforce application scope configured already. And we want to add this one. Yeah? So we add the custom object. We'll use on the object, we'll use our custom. We can search it, but for me, it's easy to, to copy paste here. Control V, Control C, and hit configure. Yeah? Then you can get an example as usual, and you can uh, also get the parameters. So he will talk with the server and say what are the, the parameters. These are the mandatory parameters. We can see also the example to understand what we need to do. So first, we need to add the partner account name. In our case, the partner, it's UiPath test costin, yeah? So we'll go on the account, and we have the ID. In your case, you can take the ID, with other methods and so on. <clears throat> so we have the, the account name. What is the role of the partner? In this case, the role of the partner is system integrator. So if I want, I can copy paste the role from here to, to do it fast. Control V, so I will have a system integrator. Okay, next. I need a parent opportunity name. You can see here on the parent opportunity name, on the opportunity, you have the opportunity ID. In our case, the opportunity, remember, it was opportunity of Vasile. So if I go to opportunity of Vasile, I will have the ID of opportunity of Vasile. Okay. Control C. And let's put this one on your iPad. So this is the opportunity of Vasile. Control V. Now we need to set the, sta uh, the status. Look, here it's proposed. Let's put here also here proposed, yeah? Proposed. Okay. Good. So now, this should work, but uh, to be sure that everything is okay, let's, uh, uh, let's delete the, the opportunity, the, the partner that you have now. So we have, uh, uh, we delete this partner, yes. And we see if the, the system will add correctly our partner. So let's go back to APS Studio. Remember that you are able to test the command. So if I hit run, he will tell me that the command is valid and it's already add with this uh, ID. So let's hit continue and uh, let's see what we have. Let's go back to you, uh, to, to Salesforce, let's refresh. And here on opportunity of Vasile, we have the partner, involve, propose, and so on. And we can go inside and see it's our detail with propose and system integrator. And you can go here on the opportunity of Vasile and you can see that you have the partner involvement. So in this way, very easy, using the, 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 the custom objects, you can work with different requests of opportunities, accounts, and so on. 
Thank you. Have a good one. Bye bye.